Travis County, where this broadcast comes to you from, is the only county in Texas that takes taxpayer money and pays for women's abortions. That upset me so much, I moved to Hayes County when they did it. But that's how evil these people are. They will sit there and lie straight to your face. And all they are, whether they be black, white, German, Jewish, Chinese, Mexican, is an evil group of people working together through fraud against the rest of us. And it's time to expose what's happening and not be cowardly and, 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 and really be retrospective and ask which side we want to be on. Now, coming up after the break, abortion survivor gives powerful testimony before Congress. Gina Jessen, we're going to play part of that when we return straight ahead. But if I'm being particularly nasty today, it's because what the New World Order is doing is nasty. And we don't have any hope of countering what's happening with the globalist if we don't expose exactly what's going on and exactly what's happening. Now, when is the ADL going to attack George Soros and Arnold Schwarzenegger? Because those people are real evil. Coming up, Finland to raise taxes on the wealthy to cover refugee costs for Reuters. Gruber's being paid off for his lies. College students nationwide assigned public finance textbook that cost over $100, written by Jonathan Gruber. So, millions of people got to buy a textbook written by a guy that teaches you how to lie to the gullible, stupid American people, the, the ones they couldn't chop up when they were little kids. <laughs> so funny how dumb everyone is to be preyed on by a nice liberal. Maybe the new textbook teaches us 2 plus 2 equals 5 if Gruber says so because he controls reality. But let's go to this video. Gianna Jessen, one of many people that was dug out of a trash can, it's a six-minute, 55-minute testimony to Congress. We're going to play some of this right now. The rest of it later. The video is on InfoWars.com. Here it is. Good morning. My name is Gianna Jessen, and I would like to thank you so much for the opportunity to testify here today. My biological mother was seven and a half months pregnant when she went to a Planned Parenthood and was advised, and they advised her to have a late-term saline abortion. This method of abortion burns the baby inside and out, blinding and suffocating the child, who is then born dead, usually within 24 hours. And there should be a photo <laughs> there. Yes, this is what I survived. Instead of dying, after 18 hours of being burned in my mother's womb, I was delivered alive in an abortion clinic in Los Angeles on April the 6th, 1977. You can see a photo as well of my medical records. Um, my medical records state, born alive during saline abortion, 6 a.m. <laughs> yeah, now they just kill you, even though it's illegal. Thankfully, the abortionist was not at work yet. Had he been there, he would have ended my life with strangulation, suffocation, or leaving me there to die. Instead... A nurse called an ambulance. What an extremist. And I was rushed to a hospital. Doctors did not expect me to live. I did. Good pause. Now, back it up 10 seconds. Now, if you're a preemie, they give you the full vaccine battery, and the nurses say it's killing the babies, and they go, hospital orders, prime directive, Thomas Watson computer. That's in the news. That's who now... Uh, most big bioethics boards are no longer men and women. They don't want to actually do the killing. So the machine says administer shots. They get the, And then the women battle, uh, mainly women nurses, with the respirators, with the defibrillators, and they give the injections. The babies start dying. They go into full battle mode to keep them alive. But they follow their orders. Yes, sir, prepare injections. Murder, 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 murder. And then they put the respirators on them. It's just such a sick joke. Ha <laughs> ha, they're murdering everyone. They love it. The public loves it. Oh, take all your shots. All of you that serve the system, just keep believing in it. They're going to saw your legs off with diabetes. They're going to kill you with fluoride. They're going to murder you. People say, man, why are you so hardcore? Because it's true. Because I see it. I accept the evil and then resist it. I accept it's happening.
I don't accept it itself. I say no, but I accept reality. By the way, it's illegal to kill a baby once they're born, but they'd still do it. Let's continue with her testimony. My life was strangulation, suffocation, or leaving me there to die. Liberalation. Instead, a nurse called an ambulance. Oh, terrorist. And I was rushed to a hospital. Doctors did not expect me to live. Yeah, now she'd be killed I by vaccine. Or love. I was later diagnosed with cerebral palsy, which was caused by a lack of oxygen to my brain while Another surviving gift. an abortion. <laughs> I was never supposed to hold up my head or walk. I do. Oh, how dare you? And cerebral palsy, ladies and gentlemen, is a tremendous gift to me. I was eventually placed in foster care and later adopted. And hear me clearly, I forgive my biological mother. Oh, how horrible. Oh, Within the first was, year job. after my birth, I was used as, as an expert witness in a case where an abortionist had been caught strangling a child to death after being born alive. I've been caught loving them. Margaret Sanger, oh. the founder of Planned Parenthood, oh. said the following. The most merciful thing that a large family does to one of its infant members is to kill it. Oh. You will die. Planned Parenthood is not ashamed of what they have done or continue to do, but we will have to give an account as a nation before God for our apathy and for the murder of over 50 million children in the womb. The sacrifice, you mean? Every time we falter, encourage as individuals, and fail to confront this evil, I wonder how many lives have been lost in our silence. We'll be back. While we make sure we are... Down. We're going to play more of this later when we come back. We have a special guest joining us with some key intel. And then all the news I've been mentioning I'm going to get to. But the truth is, this is like therapy for me to be in all this satire because this really upsets me. And I know it upsets you as well. We're going to stop these people. Stay with us. We're Humanity is rising. You notice just more and more of the over-the-top horrific stuff's coming out. And then... People wake up, they say no, and then the evil stops or gets reduced. That's why the corrupt always say, stop being negative, stop being gloom and doom, stop talking about unseemly things that are happening. Pro-lifers, don't go stand in front of abortuaries with images of chopped up babies. It's mean. Oh, really? No, it's exposing what you're doing. It's beating you. So you know what? I'm not going to listen to your advice. Oh, politically be nice. Politically be milk toast. Follow talking points. <clears throat> that's how you get ahead. No, that's how you beat us in fake debates. Scum. But I'm talking to the establishment. So Alice Cooper's got a song. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more Mr. Clean. So. Coming up, Saudi Arabia has 100,000 air-conditioned tents that can house 3 million people already set up, sitting empty, yet has taken zero refugees. While they lobby through Al Jazeera TV, I saw this last night monitoring it, that the West should do more for the millions, 800,000 this year, that have shown up in Germany. 800,000 in a country of 75 million. Uh, that's already like a third in a third world or more. Just showing up and, and carjacking and robbing and raping and filled with weird socialist wealth redistribution ideology that fits in perfectly with the socialist and communist parties to totally take over. And that ties in with Finland to raise taxes on the wealthy to cover refugee costs. That's Yahoo News Reuters. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And there's other corporate welfare. Universities make finance students nationwide by Jonathan Gruber's textbook. <laughs> That's the guy that said the public's dumb. Thank God. Yeah, Obamacare doubles or triple cost. <laughs> but we had to hide that, so I figured out the plan to lie, and Obama adopted it. Two plus two equals five. <laughs> Again, it's just the cold-hearted evil of these people. 
After we cover that, the really big news, one year, 6,700 airstrikes and 4 billion after Obama vowed to destroy ISIS, jihad is still on the offensive taking over. And that dovetails with 50 spies go public, Steve Watson article, and say we're basically protecting ISIS. And we're forced to put out fake intelligence reports. It is bold, man, for our own government to fund ISIS and Al-Qaeda. And now they admit they're streaming into Europe with the refugees, many of which are victims of their own evil. And I feel for some of the refugees, but politically they're being used as a weapon. The globalists are doing this on purpose. We're going to go to our guest, Steve Wetzel, here in just a moment, who I asked to come on the show. Uh, I've been in talks with these folks. We're going to spend about 10 minutes on this and get back into the news. I've been in talks. Oh, they've been a sponsor for four years, three, four years. But I've been in talks for two years to do this. And finally... We got it all done. I, I'll be honest with you. I went out and talked to some of the other top providers, and they just couldn't provide something as good as as low a cost that was as high quality. Because I believe in treating people like I want to be treated, the golden rule, <sighs> do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. And plus free market, if I sold cars, I want to be a really good brand of car that didn't have a lot of problems, so you were happy and came back in four years, bought another car from me. And finally, when the storable foods market exploded again a few months ago with the meltdown accelerating with China, with the situation in Europe, with the refugee crisis, <clears throat> with governments hoarding food, I called up my Patriot Supply. And I said, you know, we talked for the last two years of you being sponsors for three about putting out InfoWars Select, which is your full spectrum of foods, but packaged with our labeling and then giving us the lowest price you offer anybody. And by the way, they gave us a price so low, if we chose, because we don't make a huge profit on it, but I think we'll just sell more and make an even bigger profit and fund our operation. That's how capitalism works. That it's even lower than their prices at My Patriot Supply, who are our sponsors. We sell their full spectrum. You can see it at InfoWarsStore.com. We left the My Patriot stuff up there because it's excellent. It's only a little bit more than InfoWars Select that is in the same patented tote I mean, you know, at Walmart or Target, just the containers almost cost as much as this stuff does with the food. But they buy them in mass, so they're very inexpensive. Uh, and I want to go over in this segment why it's so good and why people should get prepared. But basically, it's drop shipped right from their factory. Uh, it is uh, the same size meals, just a little bit less. Uh, in cost no one can match this no one can come close to this believe me i was in talks with three different major food manufacturers that have good names and they would not go to the level that my patriot supply has and, and i'll be honest with you they're great folks i twisted their arm for two years to do this uh so i drive a hard bargain they're great folks and i'm passing the savings on to you they already have some of the best prices out there the highest quality food it's why i chose them we, we can sell 50 different companies water filters, make more money, dominate the market. I only sell four different brands because they're the best and they're affordable at InfoWarsStore.com. Well, we have been able to find like something like 10 different really good non-GMO, non-hybrid heirloom seed companies. So we have the InfoWars Seed Center with one of the largest selections, lowest prices out there. I have to sign contracts not to go any lower. We are free market all the way. So Steve Wetzel joins us. He is the chief financial officer of My Patriot Supply. In just five years, they've grown to dominate the market, be one of the biggest companies out there because they sell stuff at high quality at low prices. And now we have InfoWars Select powered by My Patriot Supply at InfoWarsStore.com. You can call us, ask any questions you've got. The great part about this is they don't make the food months after or buy some old food and sell it to you months after and make you wait. They have their own factories, their own facilities in Utah and other states, and they ship it right to you. We're talking about in a week. Infowarsstore.com or 888-253-3139. Two-week supplies, four-week supplies, 
Three months supplies. Six 